Nvidia built a trillion dollar fortress with over 90% of the AI chip market and margins most tech giants only dream of. But this year, AMD's radical new hardware has major cloud providers whispering that the unthinkable is now possible, a genuine threat to the world's undisputed AI king. If one chip can trigger panic at the top, what happens next? Nvidia's grip on the AI hardware market is nothing short of absolute. More than 9 out of every 10 AI accelerators shipped today bear the company's signature green logo. That dominance is not just about presence, it is about profit. NVIDIA's net margin stands at 42.6%, a figure that towers over most of Silicon Valley, and last quarter alone, revenue surged by 94%. The company's market capitalization has soared past $4 trillion, making it one of the most valuable tech firms on the planet. Chief Executive Officer Jensen Huang does not shy away from the scale of this opportunity, declaring that NVIDIA's AI infrastructure business is a $3 to $4 trillion market and that the industry is only at the beginning of this build-out. Inside this fortress, the walls are thick with cash, market share, and a developer ecosystem that has become the envy of rivals. For any challenger, the scale of what stands in the way is almost mythic. 15 years ago, NVIDIA launched CUDA, a programming platform that quietly rewrote the rules for AI development. Today, nearly every major AI model, from image generators to large language models, is built on CUDA's foundations. This is not just software, it is a fortress of libraries, frameworks, and developer habits, refined over more than a decade. For engineers, switching away from CUDA means rewriting code, retraining teams, and risking mission-critical failures. The real power is not in silicon, but in the inertia of millions of lines of code and the comfort of a familiar toolkit. While hardware specs grab headlines, it is the software moat that keeps most challengers at bay. AMD's ROCM platform has started to chip away at this barrier, but the gravitational pull of CUDA remains strong. Developers, not executives, hold the keys to this kingdom, quietly shaping the pace of change from the inside. AMD's answer comes with a number. $7.6 billion is the company's projected AI chip revenue next year. But the real disruption is not just in sales forecasts, it is in the silicon itself. At the heart of AMD's offensive is the MI325X, a chip built with a chiplet architecture that lets AMD scale memory and compute more flexibly than NVIDIA's monolithic approach. The MI325X packs a staggering 256 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, dwarfing the H100 with 96 gigabytes, and even outclassing NVIDIA's new H200 at 141 gigabytes. Bandwidth hits 5.3 terabytes per second, nearly 60% higher than the H100. For parallel compute, the MI325X is rated for about 2.6 petaflops at FP16, almost triple the H100's 0.99. Lisa Su, AMD's chief executive officer, put it plainly, We are not just competing on performance, we are redefining the economics of AI. Chiplet design slashes manufacturing costs, and with more memory per GPU, cloud providers can run larger models with fewer chips. For the first time in years, NVIDIA's fortress shows real cracks, not just in specs, but in the economics that drive the entire AI supply chain. Engineers and benchmarking labs are watching numbers come in that few expected. On Alama 270B, AMD's MI300X delivers a 40% latency edge over NVIDIA's H100. Responses arrive faster and large batches do not bog the system down. When it comes to energy, the tokens per joule metric tilts toward AMD as well, meaning more AI output for every watt consumed. That is a big deal for data centers where electricity is often the largest line item, but there is a catch. In raw training speed, AMD still trails by about 14%. For teams focused on building new models, that lag cannot be ignored. Still, the inference and efficiency stats are forcing cloud buyers to rethink their procurement math. Oracle moved first, rolling out M1 300X powered superclusters in September 2024 and promising a 50,000 GPU AMD supercluster by 2026. Volter, chasing high memory AI workloads, also brought MY 300X online that same month. 
IBM joined in November, announcing MY300X deployments for its cloud services, with general availability set for early 2025. The shift is not just about adding options, real contracts and deployments are landing on AMD's side. Volter's CEO JJ Cardwell did not mince words. He said, we are seeing unprecedented demand for MI300X from customers who want to break free from Nvidia's wait lists. For the first time in years, hyperscalers are hedging their bets with AMD hardware, turning benchmark wins into live, revenue-generating infrastructure. Cloud providers are caught in a rental paradox. On paper, AMD chips offer more memory and faster inference, but rental markets still tilt pricing in NVIDIA's favor. Even as AMD hardware wins in direct negotiations with hyperscalers, most AI startups find themselves paying more per hour for AMD instances, or cannot even find them in stock. Behind the scenes, the real threat to NVIDIA's dominance is no longer just performance, but the risk of a sudden share swing. If just one hyperscaler shifts 15 to 20% of its fleet to AMD, the shockwaves would ripple through a $4.16 trillion valuation built on the assumption of near total lock-in. Supply is the wild card. Both sides depend on TSMC's advanced nodes and high bandwidth memory, and any bottleneck there could freeze deployments overnight. Sam Altman did not mince words. The future of AI depends on a resilient, diversified supply chain. The giants stand tall, but the ground beneath them is starting to crack. Right now, trillion dollar giants scramble to adapt. In AI, no lead lasts forever. Only relentless innovation decides tomorrow's winner. The next breakthrough could rewrite everything. What is your prediction? Let us discuss below.